Tokyo is about 30 million people, obviously one of the largest cities in the world. And that's versus a total population of about 123 million. Although I had been here a number of times, I hadn't really had a chance to experience Tokyo or experience Japan. Love living in Japan. The people are just uh, fantastic, warm, uh, very polite, as you would imagine, very professional. Uh, the work ethic here is second to none. The food scene, uh, the restaurant scene is just uh, out of sight. The travel opportunities, uh, the, the love of nature, Mount Fuji, Hokkaido in the north, the seascape, camping, hiking, active volcanoes, etc. So it's just a very interesting, very diverse place to, to live and work. My wife and I both like to hike and we were able to go to Hokkaido. We're looking into a volcano that had 13 vents hissing at you and when you looked left you were looking into two different uh, volcanic cones that were also both active. The beauty of nature here and the things that you can do are just fantastic. This year the cherry blossom season was particularly beautiful, uh, very full, uh, and came incredibly early. Tokyo has a lot of interesting uh, landmarks. Maybe the, the most famous one would be the Imperial Palace. Our offices look out onto those palace grounds. Our client center has great uh, views of the palace grounds. We started here in 1902, so not unlike many countries around the globe in the 96 country network that we have, uh, you know, we're proud to have been here for, for a long, long time. And city's been many things uh, over that period of time. We've really honed that down. And since uh, 2015, when we sold uh, our remaining retail businesses that we owned at the time uh, on the ground here, we've become 100% an ICG, an institutional clients group business. You know, Japan is probably not unlike many uh, countries and economies around the globe where uh, things ebb and flow. If you think back into the 70s and maybe early 80s, Japan was certainly at the forefront of a lot of the technological revolution that was taking place during that period of time. Japan did lose its way somewhat uh, in that space for a period of time. And then I would say more recently has kind of gotten its mojo back, if you will, and is really starting to exert itself again uh, in the electronic space in semiconductors. Obviously, automobiles has always remained strong and continue to remain strong. There's a strong fintech community here as well. In fact, there's a, there's a lot going on in Japan, and I would say it's, uh, it's certainly on the upswing. We want to have a seat at that table to really have our finger on the pulse and understand what's happening and, and kind of be ahead of the curve on that. Uh, so it's a, it's a really, really uh, interesting place. And uh, to those that haven't had an opportunity to come here, I would strongly encourage it. Uh, when uh, things open up again and, and uh, get a chance to experience it for yourselves.